Hey, and welcome back, good people of the internet, to part, I've lost count, part four of What's on the Rack for Newcomer Book Day, 22nd of February 2023. We have Hellboy in Love, part three offline. Uh, Hellboy is struggling with all the angst. Uh, we've actually got some increasingly rare Mike Mignola, Mignola art in this, so you might want to enjoy that. Art uh, also by um, Christopher Golden. If you like Hellboy, what's not to like about this? Uh, we also have the start of a new arc of House of Slaughter, The Butcher's Return. Obviously, the guy from the House of Boucheri uh, was featured in the first story arc of House of Slaughter. He's back for the third. Very, very different art style than we're used to in these books, but I think it works. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, uh, we also have part 12, uh, issue 12, uh, the second part of this story arc, which came in last week. Uh, they came in the wrong order due to a shipping error I truly do not understand. But you can pick up 11 and 12 here this week. Uh, then we have the Ice Cream Man still wreaking havoc, still being an agent of chaos, still being generally bad. It's an odd series is this, but one that never, ever disappoints. So, we're what, 34 issues in now? And every single one of them has been an absolute belter. Speaking of absolute belters, the Immoral X-Men, as part of the Sins of the Sinister series, hit the rack. Um, these are the less reputable of the X-Crew. And obviously this is a slightly alternate timeline and not entirely normal things are happening. So, one for the X-Men completists, very certainly. Uh, the Immortal Sergeant from Joe Kelly continues. Uh, fantastic black and white action. You don't see very many black and white comics these days. And I think it's a very neglected aspect of the medium. Hugely entertaining. So uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, the second part of Inferno Gold Red, uh, which is an interesting superhero story, hits the rack. Today we also have part one. There's one more part to go. These, as you can see, are, as you can probably see if you're watching the video version, are square bound and beautifully drawn. The use of colour in particular I find quite brilliant. And then we have, finally on this rack, we have Junkyard Joe, who hits, hits issue five. And this has been a revelation. The story of a cartoonist who meets the inspiration for his greatest creation. And top secret black ops shenanigans ensue. It's an incredible idea. I love the character of Junkyard Joe, both the real version and the cartoon version and I love the characters and the way everything has been allowed to develop as it probably would if real people were interacting with each other. It's a masterpiece of storytelling and I cannot praise it highly enough. Um, so that's issue 5 of Junkyard Joe. Uh, we do have the previous four issues in stock if you want to jump on board it is not too late to catch this train. Okay that's it for part 4. We'll be back with part five in a bit. Until then, be kind to yourself, be kind to everybody else, and above all else, love comics.